Hey, I took a took the time out to look at yesterday's video. Um, you know, I'm kind of disappointed uh, because apparently it looks like I had uh, peanut butter on my lens cover. <laughs> Nobody told me because it looked like I was doing something straight out of my uh, my basement, and I don't even have a basement, right? So uh, today we're going to talk about advice. You know, because everybody wants to give that, and. Uh, Here's my take on advice. Well, I'm gonna wait for a couple of people because I don't want to go too soon. Because I like to, I like to see people uh, to chime in, so I know I have an audience instead of just, you know, I don't wanna say, talking to myself. I don't want to do that too often. At least I don't want to log on to talk to myself. So, if, uh, please chime in. Let me know you're watching because we're gonna talk about what I think about advice and how it is important. And when is it good and when is it bad, you know? Uh, because, you know, everybody wants to be able to share some of their wisdom. And to me, wisdom is an experience that I've gone through. I've either paid some skin or some money or some emotional, uh, uh, emotional, let's say coin, emotional coin to learn a lesson that I'm giving away to be knowledge to somebody else. And we should be able to do that because the only things are different. We have we have the same problems, same issues. We're just different people having them at different times. So when we're talking about advice, it is something that someone's already gone through or someone has knowledge of, and they're trying to give it to you uh, so you can have an easier way of doing what they've already done. So when people give you advice, it's just from their experience, and that's what they, they want to make it better for you. Sometimes you don't ask, and they offer advice, and sometimes you do ask. But, you know, I look at, uh, look at it like this. Uh, when I was younger, and I had a toolbox, and I would find old tools and screws and nuts on the ground, and I would take that, those screws and nuts and old tools and throw it in that toolbox, right? And somehow, some magical universal way, uh, later, maybe years later, I needed that very, that very nut, that very screw, and that tool that I found that was old and rusty, was laying on the ground, I needed just for that job or that project I was working on. And that's how advice is. You hear advice, you don't need to, if it's not for you to use right then and there, you can use it at a later time uh, to help you. So every time we get advice from other people, it's not mandatory that it's needed right then and there, but it can, it can come into your life later. You know, like my grandfather used to say, it's a mighty poor rabbit that has one hole to run to. And he gave me that advice after uh, I had totaled my car and I had to ride to work with a, with a co-worker who was always late, didn't want to come straight home, but I wanted to come straight home. And my grandfather saw how disappointed I was. And he told me it's a mighty poor rabbit that has one hole to run to. And what, what I understood from that is a man should have two cars to always make sure he can get the job done for him and his family. And ever since then, those who know me, I try to have two cars. Now I've got two cars and a motorcycle. I got two cars, a motorcycle, and a 10-speed. You know, I don't know. I think that might be an 18-speed. But that's that was advice that my grandfather gave me that was applicable to my life. So when people are trying to give you advice, they're not trying to tell you what to do. They're just trying to save you some skin, some money, or some emotions just so you can make this life a little bit easier. So that's what I wanted to talk about today, advice, because uh, their people's advice are based on their experiences. So the experiences they have might be lower level, something that you've already experienced, so you don't want to take their advice, or is that a level that you haven't experienced yet? So don't be, don't discourage the information that you get and save it for a later time. If you save it for a later time, you'll find that it's very valuable and you don't have to go learn that lesson because they already gave it to you for free.
So I said I was going to be back in two days. I'm back in two days and I'm going to be back in another two days with some thoughts. Uh, shout out to those who are, who are visiting me and, and checking in on me. I, I love you very much. Uh, I just wanted to share my advice on advice. So don't run from the advice that people give you. Just put it in your toolbox and you might use it later. And that'll be the most wonderful thing you, you have is someone already gave you something that was already paid for. And if it fits, it fits. If not, make sure you pass it on to somebody else who has experienced something that happened at a lower level to help them get to the next level with the positive advice you can give, right? So have a powerful day. This is Paul Posey, and I'll see you in two days.